Hi guys, welcome to Chit Chat with QT. I really appreciate you guys stopping by to watch this video. Please make sure while you're here to hit that like button. Please hit that notification bell. That way you'll be first to know when I drop a video. And please definitely make sure that you hit subscribe. Also, once you're done watching the video, please drop down in the comments and let's chit chat. Once again, thanks so much. Bye. Ariane Curry. A hard head makes a soft ass fist. I don't know if you've heard that from your mom or aunties or grandma, but you've been very hard headed and now it seems like the public embarrassment just won't stop. So let's start with Martell going viral this week with Sheree Whitfield from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, most of us that's been following you, following your story and so forth, we know how much you said, don't nobody want no old bitches. Well, they, these old bitches can't touch these young girls like myself. Martell likes young girls. So I just want to give you a, a, a little lesson and a little game on your title. Side chicks have been around since the beginning of time. But many of us, many of us that dislike you have never witnessed one that's been so bold and braggadocious as you. You reveled in the fact that you were younger than his wife, Mel, which confused me because the both of you guys are in your 30s. So, you know, it's not that much of a age difference, but you bragged that you took Mel's husband with your eyes closed. And I beg to differ because taking somebody's man with their eyes closed doesn't take seven years to do so. And his wife left him. He didn't leave her. So I'm confused. How did you take him again? What tripped most people out is how you acted like his wife, Mel, was the side chick or other woman. You stake claim on someone else's husband. Where they do that at? You kept saying, Martell pursued me, Martell chased me. But girl, you did have the option to stop the pursuit. You know, women dislike you because you refuse to even entertain the idea that you were wrong. You said some disgusting things publicly of what you and he did sexually to Tom, his wife, Mel. You continuously say, just as recent as last week, yeah, and I'ma sit on his face. I'ma sit on his face. Well, he ate me from the back, proud proud of your actions with a married man. So I don't know if you really know about men. I know you said that you can count on one hand and maybe that's the issue. Maybe you just haven't had uh, any experience, but men will tell you anything to get in between your legs, anything. This man has publicly humiliated you by calling you a peasant and you just let that slide. You said he told you himself that he would never leave his wife. Did you cut him off after he said that? No. He said just recently you were 15% to males 85%. You let that slide. So what I don't understand is recently you said Martell is for the streets. He for the streets. But sis, you allowed him to pull up on your street for seven years. Now you say he has community penis. And you made sure to let everybody know that you were the president of the community HOA. The next thing, you have ranted and raved about being on that show, Love and Marriage Huntsville, that his wife created. And I'll say he and his wife, but we all know that was Mel's creation. I know you can't be that dumb to think you would ever be on that show. What story do you really have to tell? Again, side chicks and cheating men 
has been out since the beginning of time. So what would your story be? I'm confused. Your story is, this man pursued me, this man pursued me, this man pursued me. You mad at Mel, you mad at Oprah. But you're not mad at Ariane. You let the pursuing man catch you. You did that. So just a little insight. Yes, he pursued you, and he's not without fault. He's the main character, but you and him are 50-50. But yes, he pursued you. That was game. See, he knew, just like you said, you didn't have a lot of experience with men. He peeped that from the beginning. And he knew that you would be one that he could just keep stringing along. So yeah, that was game. I'm sure he's told you he's lo he loved you. You said the man came and dropped down on his knees and was crying and all that. That was game. And somebody needs to teach you game. Men will look you dead in your eye and cry. And as soon as they leave their house, they on to the next one. Some men are capable of that. And Martel definitely was capable of that. So if you had game or knowledge, you would know game recognized game and you would have been able to peep everything that that man was telling you from the beginning was game you know people have been trying to get through your head martel could not have cheated by himself but when other women try to tell you the right things when you on live you oh y'all old bitches or y'all dumb bitches and your man could lie don't you think your man could lie can that man lie to you because that's what he's been doing. That's what he's been doing. And as a matter of fact, his wife said, you weren't the only one that he was cheating with. So what makes those women different from you? I'll tell you. They did not want to be known on a national stage as the side chick, like you. You revealed yourself. You keep saying that this show, this show, they talking about me, my likeness, and all that. Not once did they mention your name. Not once did they show you. So you could have definitely stayed unknown. But you wanted to be known. Those other women that he was cheating with, they didn't want this. They didn't want what you going through. They were smart. Because who in their right mind would want that. So my advice to you is this. It's time for you to really, really reclaim your life. If I were you, I wouldn't even utter his name publicly, period, point blank. And please, please don't keep your title as his side chick while he's out here publicly with other women. You need to deprogram yourself from all the lies that that man has told you. You need to deprogram yourself for thinking everything he said and did was for the show. You need to put that man on child support and let him go on about his business. I really think personally, it's time for you to bow out. And I know you don't care what other people think. You let that be known. And that's why people continue to talk because you just don't care. At least that's what you want the public to think. But I know deep down inside somewhere, you have to have some feelings about what's going on. You have to. So you can change people's perceptions of you. You can stop trying to blame Mel, the lady that was married to him. You inserted yourself in that marriage even if it was by way of Martel. Again, you had a choice. I don't understand women that say, well, I didn't take no vows with him. I didn't take no vows with him. Do you pray to God at all? Because they stood before God and took those vows. And just because he chose to dishonor them doesn't mean you say, okay, well, I'm going to do it too. No, have some respect for yourself. And in turn, if you do, you will make men would have made Martel respect you too. But he saw that, 
he had you hook, line, and sinker. Everything he told you, and I'm sure I don't even uh, have to be there, didn't have to be there, to know the things that he was telling you. Oh, I hate my wife. She a bitch. I sleep in, I sleep in another room. I'm only with her for the kids. And I know he gave it all to you. And guess what? Other men have said that too. See, women, a lot of women have been cheated on before. A lot of men been cheated on before. So you're not the first that has participated in cheating. But again, it's you not having any accountability and having the audacity to dog his wife out publicly. That was her man. And who cares if they were thinking about getting a divorce before they even pitched the show or be sure before the show was pitched up? Who cares? They were still married when it aired. They were still having kids together while the show went on. So it's time for you to get out of denial and thinking everything was for that show. That man loved his wife, and I'm sure he loved you as well, but it was up to you to, again, have some respect for yourself and tell him, no, I'm not doing that. And honestly, how you could have turned this all around would have been when you gave your interview to Tasha K. See, Tasha K, she was playing you as well to get you to continue to talk, saying, oh, no, you, you weren't a side chick. You was a mistress. No, you were, it, I mean, to me, there's no difference. Side chick, uh, side chick, mistress, whatever, same thing. But she also tried hard for you to accept accountability and for you to apologize as a woman to Martel's wife. You refused. Now, have, if you would have done that, you could have parlayed all of this into several opportunities. See, you need to drop your ego because imagine if you would have done that. You and Mel possibly could have had a sit down on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Imagine the ratings. Imagine that going viral like it's going viral with Martel and Sheree. Imagine that. If you would have just humbled yourself and said, you know what? Yeah, she had a right to make a song about me. She's an artist. Artists sing about pain. I'm sure you heard of Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige's career was started off of pain and breakups and this and that. So you assumed that title because she could have been talking about anybody. But you assumed that title and was mad and said that, you would never apologize because she made a song about you. But again, if you would have humbled yourself, put that ego down, and you and Mel got together as women first, and then as the mother to Martel's children, imagine the standing that you would have right now. But you gave his wife your ass to kiss and you accepted no responsibility. It wasn't up to you, it was up to Martel. No, it was up to you too. It was up to you too. So that was a, a missed opportunity for real. But after all you've said and done to Mel, I know that she would never, never welcome that opportunity now. And I don't blame her, not one bit. So like I said, it's time for you to drop out the racist and focus on your beautiful kids. Martel loved Martel more than anything. And we all can see that. He's always felt like you were beneath him. That's why he's never claimed you. You can't be the mouthpiece for Martel's love. Martel's actions should have shown that he loved you. And that means when Mel divorced him, Ariane should have been moving on in that house and everything else. But this man has based your whole relationship with him on you satisfying him. You know, you can't go back and change the past, but you can definitely take control and rewrite your own future. So hopefully this video again will get to you somehow, some way. You can listen and you, and you can't. It is what it is. Um, a lot of people like myself make videos because it's trending. 
trending topics, trending people, and you know, you you trend for all the wrong we reasons, but you trend. So anyway, guys, for everyone else, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as I close, Ariane, I'm gonna tell you again, don't you be no willing participant as a side chick to Martel while he's out here trying to get a woman with some thing that's gonna boost his, something to offer him more than what's in between her legs. It's about time for you to let that go. Side chicks is not it, sis. So yes, married men gonna be chasing and chasing and chasing to the end of time. If they ain't married and they got in relationships with somebody, they gonna chase and chase and chase and chase. But guess what? They can't get nowhere if you say no. See, it ain't even about the other women. You know, a lot of women like you think, um, you know, yeah, well, he won't be more than he want the girl that he with. No, that's not the case. He just wants some more ass. So anyway, I done already gave my clothes into this video and I done start ranting again. Thank you guys again for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. Bye.